In today's tutorial, I want to tackle a regular expression feature of JavaScript. Many developers know how to use regular expressions in JavaScript, but few know the ins and outs of the exact method, a method of the regular expression object. It has some nice features, one of which is making it possible to iterate over matches. Before we get started, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description. I have a course on regular expressions if you want to explore that more. Also, my website has a list of all the tutorials I've published. There are over 200 now. When using regular expressions in JavaScript, you set up a regular expression object. The exec method is one of the methods available on that object. This method allows us to iterate over matches, among other things that it does. A bit later, I'll also look at the match all method of strings, which helps us in a similar way. We're going to dive into an example and look at what the exec method can do for us first. So the example we're going to use is very simple. Here I've created a regular expression object. And notice I use the G flag. In order for the feature of the exec method to work that we're going to be looking at, you've either got to use the G flag, the global flag, or you need to use the sticky flag, which is the letter Y. The sticky flag is something that is used in JavaScript and allows you to access the stateful nature of the regular expression object which is what we're going to be doing as we're working with the exec method. We'll just use the global flag here for that. So first, I want to show what we get back with the exec method. So I'm just going to put a simple console log statement here. And we're going to do the take the regular expression object, and we're going to use the exec method off of it. And what we do is we pass in the string. So here's the string. And as we can see, we're searching for the letter O. It's not going to find this one because this one's uppercase, but it will match all the other letter O's in this string. And that's what we're searching for. A very simple regular expression. We want to focus on the exact method more so than the regular expression. So I go ahead and save that. Let's jump out over here. I'm going to refresh and I'm going to open the console. And let's take a look at what we get. As you can see, what re is returned from the exec method is an array. And the array contains in the first position the match. So here's the first letter O that it matched. And it also has the input, the index of the match. See right here, if we looked at the input here, index zero is the H, index one is that first O. And so it's showing us the index of that. All right. Now, something else I want to show here, let me go back and just modify this code really quick. I'm going to do a, another console log statement. And I want to show you the last index property of that regular expression object. What does that get set to? So if I save that and I refresh, and if I make sure I enter this correctly, uppercase I there, save it again. There we have our array and then we have last index. Well, what is that referring to? Well, that is where the match last stopped in the string. So if we look at this string here, zero, one, and so right now it's sitting at two. It's sitting at two, that is the last index. That's where it will continue to do another match if we choose to, if we use the exact method like I said, to iterate over the matches. Last index is then used, all right? And so that's a nice feature of this exact method. Now, let me go ahead. I'm going to just comment those out there. And we're going to look at an example here that will allow us to iterate over these matches. And we'll just count the number of matches there are. We'll do something simple like that. So I'm going to first declare variable here, the array, and I'm also going to declare a count. I'm going to set that count equal to zero like that. Now we're going to use a while loop. So while, and notice what we do here. Oops. First we want to 
assign something to uh, this variable that I've declared, the array. And what do we assign to it? Well, we're going to use that regular expression object with the exact method on string. And so it's going to return the array to this variable. And that's how we're going to work with it. Now, every time through the loop, it's going to do that. All right. And so we want to continue through this while loop as long as the results are not equal to null. Now, this works because if there are no matches using the exact method, it returns null. That's what gets returned. And so we'll continue while there are matches. Now, because we're using a while loop and because we have the G flag here, it's going to use that last index property and each new match is going to start at last index and then find the next match. So the second time through, it's going to start here and find the next match and so on. So let's see what we get. Let's go ahead and finish setting up this loop here. And I can just can't count here to get how, to see how many. And then we can do a console log down here at the bottom and just display the amount. But I want to do more in here. I want so you can see what's going on. Let me go ahead and console.log the array so you can see how that changes each time. And also, let's just log the last index property as well. index like that. So you can see how that advances as it moves through this string. All right, so we have what we need. Let me go ahead and save that. I'm gonna jump out here, refresh, and let's see what we get. All right, so let's come up the top here. So here's the first match. Uh, the index of that match is one. Uh, we saw that earlier when we are looking at it, and that's an O. And then the last index property is two. So that's where it's going to start for the next one. Then it finds a match at index 19. Another O, of course, because that's all we're looking for. And then it finds a, well, and then the last index is 20, finds a match at 23, last index 24, finds a match at 31, last index is 32. And then it ends the loop because eventually it returns null. There are no more matches. We get a count of four. So there are four O's in that. Now, as I mentioned, it did not match this uppercase O because we're looking at lowercase O's. But if we did the case insensitive flag here with the regular expression object, then we could match that as well. So if I save that and refresh, now we get five. We get a count of five here. All right. So that allows us to iterate through the array. And there are a lot of different ways that can be used. It's just a simple example where we're counting the number of matches is what we're doing. Now, uh, before we're done here, I want to show the match all method of strings. This is new in JavaScript. This also allows us to work with the matches and iterate over them. However, what it does that the exec method doesn't do is it creates an iterable. And that can be a nice feature. So let me show an example of that. But first, I'm going to comment out what I've got here and jump down. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable here, it for an interval, and I'm going to set it equal to the string dot match all. Now match all is a method of strings. And so we use the string first, match all, and then we pass in the regular expression, rgx, which I've created up there. Now this will return an iterator that we'll be able to move through using the next method of the iterator. And so if I save that and now we refresh it, we're not logging anything to the console, but let's just take a look at IT. As we can see, regular expression string iterator. So it created an iterator. Now, how can we use this? Well, we use it with the next method. So if I enter next here, what's it going to display? Well, it displays an object for me. Is it done? False. Notice what's in the value. We get a match, the index, the input. Um, basically, we get what we're getting with the exact method. 
Now I can, if I'm ready to go to the next match, then I would do it.next again. Let's see what we get here. Index nine now. So it's using that last index property to continue through it. And we're using the next method to move through that iterator. Now I've done some other tutorials on iterators. If you're very unfamiliar with them, I'd recommend taking a look at those. But this is just another example of how we can move through the matches in a regular expression. And this one uses match all uh, method of strings. All right, please hit the like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. Click that bell button to be notified about new releases. And once again, thanks for watching.